So here it is, the donor car. And it's sent to a scrapyard at the moment, so I can use their facilities to get the batteries out. I'll get the motor out back at my place. I reckon a bit of buffing, that'll come out nicely. Good thing is, none of it has intruded actually into the motor. So there's probably a bit of damage on the charging socket, but um, I imagine I can get that replaced. The rest of the car's in pretty much A1 condition. Uh, so I'll be scrapping all the bits I don't need. Coming back tomorrow and we'll get the batteries out. They've got a forklift here, so I'm going to use the forklift to take the weight off the batteries while I unbolt it and get the batteries out. Uh, and then this whole unit will come back to my house and I'll have the battery separate, I can get the motor out and uh, begin the conversions and upgrading it into my RX-8. There it is, the leaf battery. Finally got it out, it took most of, the, most of the morning, I guess. Um, again, thanks to Darren Harris at Harris Scrapyard uh, for his use of two forklift trucks and labor, because, I mean, that thing is really heavy. It must weigh 250, 300 kilos, I think. Um, it's right at the limit of my jack. I've got the jack on quarter of a ton, and I had to stand on the back to get it out the van with the right reach. But we've got it here, it's on the driveway now. So I just have to dissect it, and uh, that's stage one of the, the LEAF project. The actual car itself is arriving on a trailer tomorrow, and uh, that'll be on my driveway, so I can start dissecting that as well. And, um, well, so the project begins. Oh, I've opened it up. That was fairly harmless, to be fair. There's a kind of a seal all the way around the edge, a black kind of goop, and I must admit, it was, it's, it's really tough. Um, but it just goes around, all around the edge, I was being really careful cutting it, just with a normal Stanley knife, because I wasn't sure if the blade went right through, was I going to touch anything battery um, in there? I couldn't really tell. Obviously, if I ever open one of these again, I know that it's cleverly designed, that you're not going to go through. You can be a bit more confident with the knife and cut all the way around. So I've cut the, I've cut the uh, whatever it is, the sealant, all the way around, and just opened it up a bit like a book. And, uh, and there's my cells inside. Um, kind of running out of time today to do much more. But um, I've got the bank holiday weekend, so hopefully going to get this lot out of here and uh, inside so we can start doing some, some testing with it.